Hello everyone, in this video lecture we shall solve this problem finding borders which is the third problem of the string algorithm set. In this problem we are given a string and we have to find the border lengths of the string. The border of a string is defined as a prefix of the string which is also a suffix of the same string. And the prefix must be a proper prefix. That means we can't take the entire string and say that uh, this, uh, this is one of the borders because it is also a suffix. That is not allowed and uh, we have to print the border length of the given string. The input line contains the string with n characters while the um, character slides between small a to small g and we have to print the border length in the increasing of uh, in the increasing order of their size. The constraints of the problem are uh, the n goes up to 10 is per 6. So the solution of quadratic time complexity will not work. So we have to see maybe uh, linear time complexity and log n time complexity and a similar time complexity which, uh, on which the uh, these constraints may work. Let's see an example for uh, this problem to better understand it. So, here is a sample string. Um, have to find the borders here. The first border is of length 2 AB because AB is also present as a suffix. The first one is 2, the smallest border. The another one is of length 5 here. A, B, C, A, B. And that's the next, uh, that's the next length, uh, border length. So we have two border lengths. We do not have any other proper prefix which is also a suffix. So that's the answer. That's what we print for this uh, input string. This example has been taken from the problem itself. Let's see how we can solve this problem, right? This problem is basically an application of the KMP algorithm, basically the pi table or the LPS table that we have discussed in the previous video lecture. If you haven't watched that video, please go and watch that. After that, you will understand it better. So let me give you a brief uh, intro to what an LPS array is or a pi table is. You see, this is a sample string of length m. We build a pi table or an LPS array over this text where pi i represents the longest proper suffix which is ending at index i and that is also a prefix right for instance at this index which is 0 1 2 3 4 at this index the length of uh, proper suffix which is also a uh, prefix is 2 because you see AB matches with AB. So this is the longest suffix which matches with the prefix, right? And that's what the LPS array stands for. Okay, so let's build an LPS array for this uh, text, right? So for the first character, this will have 0. B does not match with A, so this will have 0 again. C doesn't match with A, 0. Here you see A matches with the A, so this has a matching prefix, like the prefix matches with the suffix and uh, it is of length 1. Okay. Then we move to the next character, A, B b and here you see that this ab matches with this ab so that's why the length is 2 then we move here a does not match with c so we have 0 not 0 basically we have 1 because a matches with a so this is 1 ab matches with the prefix ab so length is 2 a, B, C matches with the prefix A, B, C. We have length 3. A, B, C, A 
matches with the prefix a b c a 4 and a b c a b matches with a b c a b the length is 5 so this is the lps table or pi table for this text right how this will help us let's see that uh, before understanding that let's see how we can uh, implement this how we can prepare the working code for uh, for this uh, lps table so this is how we prepare the lps table okay so this is the pattern we have pi initialized with 0 and the size of this array pi is same as the size of the pattern and uh, how we prepare this is this function using this function we initialize a variable len which give me the length of the proper prefix which is also a suffix i initialize a pointer i which is standing here initially so i is here then I have a pi table which is this of length same as the text okay I run a while loop uh, up to the end of the pattern okay using the pointer i and then if I check if pattern at i matches with the pattern at len len is at 0 so if it matches I increment the len by 1 and assign it at that uh, to that index so for uh, the first index for the index 0 the value of uh, pi, the value in the pi table for the first character is always 0 okay and uh, for the second character we have 0 because you see the character at i is not matching with the character at len so that's why we simply put 0 here and we move the pointer by 1 now i is here and we see that this also does not match with the character at len so we put 0 here again then we see then we move i here here we find a match a matches with the character at len okay here this condition is satisfied and we increment len by 1 and we assign it at that location okay so len is present here right now okay now we move to next character which is b here and we see yes b is matching with the character at len so this condition is again satisfied we increment len by 1 and we assign that length to our LPS table so we assign 2 here and similarly we prepare our LPS array 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 now this is how we prepare the LPS table and, uh, now we want to understand how this can help us to solve this problem right? you can notice that uh, this 5 here represent gives me the prefix uh, the suffix which is also a prefix right a b c a b a b c a b this is also a border okay so the, this is a border so i put 5 here then i move my pointer to fifth character why because i have already found a border of length 5 right so i move my pointer to the fifth character so what is the fifth character 1 2 3 4 5 so i move my pointer at fourth index so i am at fourth index 0 1 2 3 4 i am at this index that means at this index i have a suffix of length 2 which matches with the prefix of length 2 and that is the case a b matching with a b right which is also a border so i put 2 in a, my array in my answer array 
then I move my pointer to the uh, to a prefix of length 2 okay here at index 1 so my pointer is here here I do not find any matching prefix uh, which is also a suffix or in other words a border right because in pi table we have 0 so that's why I end here and I have got my borders the first border is of length 5 and another border is of length 2 but the question says that I have to print the lengths in an increasing order that's why I sort this array uh, after sorting I got, uh, I, got, I got this right and that's the answer that's how I solve this problem so let's see the pseudocode for uh, this solution so this is a pseudocode uh, we have a pi array which is prepared uh, beforehand and this is the function for finding borders it takes in the pattern prepares the pi table and then initializes uh, a result array okay so this stores the final result and n represents the size of the pi array j is the pointer which is initially standing at the last index of the pi table and then i run a while loop which basically runs up until i exhaust all the borders so then i keep pushing the length of my borders inside the result array so i push 5 first then i push then i move my j to uh, to the uh, to the characters like initially j is 5 that means uh, the next border i will find before uh, the index 4 3 4 so here so i move my pointer at this location because I know that this much part is also matched with this part so the next border will be present in this part of the string or pattern right so that's that's where I move my j and finally I the j is moved to this location and I run uh, I break my while loop and then I sort the uh, result array resultant array and, uh, that will give me 2 5 and then I print it okay so that's how this function works I hope you understood the solution for this problem let's see the time and space complexity for the same so you see uh, I am pre-processing the pi table which basically takes O of m time because where m is the length of the pattern right then I am iterating over the pi table in the worst case uh, we have to iterate over all locations right then the length of this pi table is also big of m so the overall time complexity is big of m which is a linear time complexity and this will work fine for this uh, for these constraints okay so let's uh, see the implementation for this problem uh, here we have implementation in c++ and pre-processing the pi table here okay and uh, using this pi table i am preparing my resultant array and finally i am printing it after i sort the same uh, problem the same implementation in java and, uh, this is in python okay so and uh, Thank you so much. I have attached the solutions in the description.